Welcome back to another episode of Millennium Live. My name is Connor Tui. I'm very happy to be here today. Uh, we're going to be having a great chat about DevOps. And we have the complete Salesforce DevOps solution, GearSet, today. And to talk all about GearSet and DevOps and the offerings that GearSet has, we have Jack McCurdy. He's the DevOps advocate there at GearSet. Jack, welcome to the Millennium Live podcast. Hey, Connor. Thanks so much for having me on. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, so I want to dive right into it. I, I want to I want to get your thoughts and pick your brain a little bit about um, DevOps, chat a little bit about Salesforce. So, uh, you know, I think it, businesses right now, top of mind is, you know, in, in choosing Salesforce and and help scale their digital transformation efforts. You know, I, you know, everybody here is and knows of Salesforce these days. So why are businesses choosing Salesforce in order to help them scale their digital transformation projects uh, from the start? Yeah, that's a really great starting point. So Salesforce itself as a platform is well suited to digital transformation generally. Uh, so first and foremost, it's cloud-based, um, hosted software or platform as a service. So that means that it can be deployed and used by anybody in the business from anywhere. Um, the other reason that I think is so well suited to digital transformation is because of the nature of it, it's extremely configurable. So you can take your legacy systems or legacy processes and then create a bespoke solution in Salesforce that is readily available to everybody across that cloud platform. Um, so this is an absolute game changer, especially for larger enterprise organizations, as well as teams that are responsible for handling a larger enterprise application. So Salesforce will typically become a tier one business app in a company that it is deployed into. And we see, we see that investment in Salesforce continue to grow. So because of that customization, it can continually be tweaked, changed, and amended depending on how a business grows and uh, how a business looks to pivot and change to meet the market wherever it is. So um, we did a we actually did a survey where 43% of businesses say that digital transformation for them is a top priority. And 98% of those respondents also said that Salesforce is critical to their business objectives. So we can see how important digital transformation is, as well as how integral a role Salesforce plays into that. That's from the state of Salesforce DevOps 2023, uh, which we've just released. Yeah, I think we should talk a little bit more about that too. And I'm, I'm interested to to see your findings. But um, you know, in in terms of what how you know what you're seeing right now in the market and in in, in the industry, you know, what are, what are the key challenges that that businesses face in unlocking this full potential of Salesforce. What are you seeing out there, Jack? Part and parcel of Salesforce being so configurable and Salesforce having that moldability to make it do whatever you want. So any business can customize Salesforce to make it do what you want and fit around that business process that already exists or the new process that you want it to form. Because of those nuances and those powerful features and just how customizable it is, a lot of Salesforce teams, the people that are developing and configuring the platform for their companies, they're under such pressure to deliver projects built on the platform that they struggle to keep up with demand. So demand has consistently been, and you see this across the whole of the Salesforce ecosystem. So there's a lot of demand on the Salesforce administrators, Salesforce developers, architects, et cetera. They have more and more pressure put on them and their roles are changing and evolving to try and meet that business demand on them too. And then they have to be slowed down by some of the quirks of the platform that can stall the releases. So not only are they under pressure to deliver these business value added features faster, they are hampered by some particular nuances of the Salesforce system um, that have hampered them for a long time. So their legacy tooling for delivering isn't where it's supposed to be. Fortunately, there are changes being made in that space, and that's why companies like GearSet exist to help them. Um, so those challenges and those nuances 
are playing a big part in unlocking that full potential of Salesforce. And then another challenge of that is you look at the kind of global economy and economies of scale at the moment, you know, senior leaders aren't looking to hire a lot of additional experts with deep sub Salesforce subject knowledge or domain expertise, even though they're under internal pressure to deliver. So more has been expected of these people um, with uh, more limited resource. Um, so it's a little bit of a little bit of chicken and an egg kind of thing. Uh, there's the demand, but there's not necessarily the amount of people to to meet that demand met by lackluster totally. Mm. Well, I mean, you just kind of uh, mentioned it already here, but um, you know, I feel like gear set is 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 really a great tool that allows organizations, you know, to sort of utilize uh, and gather the full potential of Salesforce. You know, it, Salesforce has allowed so many different companies, pretty much anybody, uh, the uh, the ability to create and and build. So, how do you? And I want to in, in incorporate a gear set and and all the cool things that that's going on over there. What can really help ease the pressure of these of these challenges, especially that leadership is facing today? Yeah, great question. So at the end of the day, ultimately, it all really comes down is to is investing in the Salesforce team that already exists. So you'd like to have a Salesforce team that is somewhat well established, potentially new members as well. And those people, the more that you invest in them, and it's, I guess you could, could say that this is the crux of any business or any, any leader. If you're investing in your team so that they have the resources that they need to deliver and do their jobs effectively, and now especially with the Salesforce team that we're talking about large-scale digital transformation projects and doing that in speed, um, investing in them so consistent training and clear leadership about what is expected of them is going to be key. So uh, we mentioned Salesforce has uh, lots of nuances and lots of deep, uh, deep capabilities and ever-growing capabilities. Continue to invest in that team in terms of their learning journey and what you want them to achieve and making sure that they're well-equipped to succeed in their roles is going to make, um, make their lives a lot easier as leadership and ease the pressure on those teams so that they've given, they're given the space effectively to be able to do this. And then one of the other things I think is important, especially as it pertains to DevOps and you know what, what we're doing here at Gearset is making sure that we take best practices from the wider software engineering world that enables the Salesforce team to become more efficient and successfully deliver those projects at scale. So DevOps and DevOps tooling processes and people that are related in those roles uh, is another way that you can start and ease the pressure uh, on these teams. So kind of switching gears a little bit since we are talking about DevOps, uh, just to, just to, for someone perhaps new to the space or someone wants to learn more about DevOps, could you, uh, can you um, provide maybe some, uh, some insight or maybe how you see your DevOps and, and what is DevOps and, and how does gear set, help in 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 and when they see that that lock lost, that lackluster devops you know preventing teams from taking full advantage of salesforce how does gear set come in and help make sales salesforce uh, devops on salesforce simple yeah so devops itself is a combination of software development and IT operations. So DevOps, that's uh, that's where what we're talking about here. And it's taking the best practices from both software development and IT operations in standard software development and bringing those things together, um, tools, processes, and the way that people work together to break down silos amongst those people who are building, testing, releasing, and monitoring a system. Um, and creating a collaborative workflow that's, so that seem, teams can, when they are developing all these new exciting features, functionality, and business process in Salesforce, um, do it faster and at a higher quality. And how Gearset plays into that picture is, is primarily from tooling. So Gearset is a platform that enables those Salesforce engineering teams to be able to handle their releases and monitor their orgs that they're looking at, their Salesforce orgs that they're looking after, in a more seamless manner that gives the whole team more visibility into what the team is doing, thus increasing collaboration and breaking down those silos between teams, which typically hamper 
um, Salesforce teams previously. So not having uh, transparency and not having uh, clear lines of communication are all things that GearSet is well equipped to handle. As a company as well, we've been been around for, for a long time now. I've worked for GearSet for the last four years and I've spent uh, most of my time here helping teams overcome the cultural challenges and the shift in mindset that's needed uh, to adopt tools like GearSet successfully and platforms like GearSet successfully. That's awesome, man. And, and I'd like to know even more about, about GearSet and, and, you know, how can GearSet and, you know, how can DevOps be used to scale Salesforce projects and, and delivery for those larger org- organizations, those, those larger teams that you mentioned? And, and how is implementing DevOps helping these teams succeed in the long run? And and how does how does gear set fit into all of this? Yeah, so so delivering Salesforce projects is difficult using Salesforce's native tooling. Um, Salesforce are making changes to their own platform in the way that they are helping Salesforce engineering teams deliver their changes. But gear set slots into DevOps process by allowing a Salesforce delivery team to move their changes effectively from the environments that they're working in, development environments, through their Salesforce org management cycle and their DevOps release process through their testing environments, uh, maybe user testing environments and staging environments right out to production. Now, that process has been something that has traditionally been very difficult and very cumbersome using the native tooling that Salesforce offers. And that's where GearSet comes in uh, with some super smart functionality to to ease that process, allow those teams to automate their processes too. So a lot of digital transformation projects, especially with larger enterprise organizations, is about automating processes and workflows to make their users and their staff that are using Salesforce more efficient. And DevOps helps you do that. And a platform like GearSet helps you do that too. Um, So adding automation into the process to remove manual steps and make sure that the teams that are delivering Salesforce for those companies can focus on the meaningful things. So what GearSet uh, is effectively doing is freeing up people's time and energy to focus on the things that actually matter. And that's helping shape the direction of the platform that then contributes to the wider business goals that uh, a company has. So um, implementing DevOps for Salesforce or bringing a platform like GearSet on board is really supporting that wider digital transformation um, for uh, for a business on an iterative basis, Um, bringing lots of stakeholders together involved so the business sees the value from those things um, more reliably and giving them some resilience as well. So best practice DevOps gives businesses resilience in the event of something going wrong, you know, that's a big risk. Organizational risk is something that every large enterprise is looking to mitigate. And a platform like GearSet through its backup and recovery functionality gives businesses that peace of mind. So the faster that you're moving, the more likelihood it is that there may be failure, but mitigating that failure and the impact of that failure if and when it happens, something like GearSet is going to give you security of. So that's how GearSet um, GearSet kind of plays in the picture and DevOps more generally helps skill Salesforce projects and delivery for larger teams. Um, coming on to how is DevOps helping those teams succeed? So um, those DevOps practices and toolings really does help with speed up delivery um, and increase the ROI of the Salesforce platform. So Salesforce itself is a significant investment for any business, especially a large enterprise. Lots of users in the system that are looking to uh, make use of that functionality and make use of a platform that is helping scale and grow their business, whether that be in sales service or or what have you. So having a well-oiled process that allows those features and functionality in that system to operate effectively is hugely important. So for example, Veolia, UK and Ireland um, recently revamped their DevOps processes um and we're looking to keep up with changing demands of their customers and their stakeholders so large enterprise organization and they themselves are now predicting at least 500 percent roi from just implementing a devops process um, across their salesforce environments and saving over 100 hours a week in development time um so they're kind of there are huge roi benefits um and you think about what you can do with those extra extra 100 hours um, over the over that period, 
um, that can amount to a lot, lot more focus and a lot more energy and driving strategy. Um, so those are some uh, great examples of how real world customers are succeeding by adopting DevOps practices. That's awesome. Thanks so much for, for that, Jack, and and uh, for your time today. I, I don't want to keep you too long, but um, I want to I want to finish up this interview just by, um, you know, it sounds like it sounds like Gearset is really setting the standard for Salesforce DevOps. And, you know, I've, I've learned a lot already through this conversation, and I'm sure our our data audience will as well. You know, digital transformation has gone on for a while now, it seems. And and even Gearset founded in 2015, same, I think the same year as Millennium Alliance. Um, so it's been it's been an ongoing transformation. Where where do you see this this heading in in the future? You know, in 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 terms of making Salesforce implementation easier and 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 the the way that implementation and deployment where where do you see all of this going? I mean, it's so exciting the future, uh, and and it sounds like Gearset is going to be a real real solution and real part of the future. So where where do you see it, Jack? Where do you see it going? Yeah, I think it's I think it's onwards and upwards for 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 Gearset and for this particular part of the ecosystem for sure. Um, you look at you look at what Salesforce is doing and how how businesses are looking to shift and transform and change what they're doing. I mean, one of the best recent examples of this is Salesforce have recently partnered with Formula One and the McLaren F1 racing team, for example. You know that mirrors a surge in the popularity of the F1 as seen in the last three years or so because of drive to survive on netflix i assume is a big contributor to that but businesses like formula one are looking for systems that are going to help them adapt to that changing market and capitalize on that interest that they have in their businesses and therefore they need to be supported by best practices in terms of software delivery so that they can actually capitalize on it you know strike while the iron's hot is the same you know and devops processes are really all about helping customers do that so I think with that increased demand and that increased utilization of Salesforce as a platform to drive business change, you'll see an equal rise in DevOps practices coming to the fore to help them deliver that. So um, onwards, upwards, yeah, we'll see We'll see much more. Um, and this isn't the last of the conversation for DevOps. It's just the beginning. I totally agree with you. Jack McCurdy, thank you so much. The DevOps advocate at Gearset. Thanks for talking all about Gearset and DevOps and Salesforce. And and from what my takeaway is that Gearset is the only platform you need for unparalleled deployment success, continuous delivery, and automated testing and backups. Jack, thanks for joining Millennium Live. I'm excited for the uh, the events coming up in in the CIO world and the DevOps and data world. So. Let's uh let's keep the conversation going and and hope to see you soon. Thank you Connor, hope to see you soon as well.